वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोज फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी ऑल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस Let us continue to watch our today's video. False start drain system are designed to derish the gas turbine from a potential risk of fire or explosion hazard which may occur due to remaining or residual fuel accumulation in the gas turbining gas turbine from the previous attempt of uh, starting the machine so let us understand in detail how this system works so gas turbine sequence of operation or startup we all understand there are uh, certain numbers of igniters and flame detector which may be different for different machines and uh, once you start the process there is introduction of fuel in machine and then you have your uh, uh, spark plugs which ignite Uh, the uh, the fuel and air mixture and the ignition timer may be different for uh, different fuel like 10 second for gas and 30 second for liquid fuel and let's say there is no sustainable or stable flame after this period so then you your machine does not detect that that machine is uh, progressing on the startup sequence and then machine will trip on failure to ignite so once it has failed to ignite then there may be some fuel which may be accumulated in the turbine which need to be purged out so for that the machine will automatically go on uh, cranking speed which is required to purge the remaining fuel with a higher air pressure so that uh, 20 minutes of cycle will be there where uh, the purging will be completed completed means the the volume of air which will pass to purge out your whatever remaining fuel is there and then you have your uh, uh, signal that you can go for next start till the time there will be start signal will be enabled so what will happen in this time there are the different drains essentially three drains are there uh, we are going to have this in the next slide so from those drains you will see there is a air will come when the, there is a uh, rpm of a machine is low then air will start coming and slowly that air will bring the fuel along with that which is there in your uh, turbine areas different areas may be combustion area or exhaust area or uh, in between as well so that you can check whether air is coming from that three different drains which are false start drains and if the air is coming so after a few seconds that fuel should also come that we should check Mm, there is a uh, like what we uh, talked about in the initial slide that there is a potential risk of fire and explosion if there is a lot of uh, fuel accumulated while we give a attempt to start the machine let's say you have done two or three attempt but there is no uh, stable operation or startup so you will have lot of fuel accumulated and there are different incident or accidents has already happened in gas turbine plants where there is a explosion kind of event because of this fuel accumulation only so now you see that there are three drains which uh, you can see let me put the pointer so if you see there is a three drains one is which is from the bottom of combustion this one this drain there is another drain which we can see from the downstream of combustion section which is this drain lowest point drain and there is a turbine exhaust drain so all those uh, drains are coming out to the atmosphere and operator will have a opportunity to check 
whether there is a air sufficient air is coming from them or not and then if you have started on liquid fuel so there should be some liquid also come if there is a no flame or uh, flame has initially came but it was not stabilized so uh, this is the basically concept to reduce how you are reducing the risk so how these valves operate so these valves are normally normal open in operation but these are pneumatically actuated valve where these valve will be closed once there is a sufficient compressor pressure is built up so once you start the machine their uh, initial process uh, there will be air coming out if there is a false start there should be fuel coming out and if you go and uh, uh, pass that phase when there your, your flame is established and you are going to accelerate and uh, reach to fsnl so in that meantime you will see your cpd air will increase and that pressure itself will uh, try to actuate this valve and make them close before that the, those valves will be failed to open yeah so this is very important while you do regular operation and maintenance in your machine and uh, you have to have this knowledge essentially and you can ask any question in your comment uh, section if you want to understand furthermore uh, uh, this topic so normally what happens uh, this logic is different for different machines when you have uh, your fail start how much type how much uh, uh, trip or inhibit time will be there and there are some machines where your uh, false start drain valve must have a detection uh, that uh, there is uh, some fuel or fuel or fluid is coming or not some machine may have this kind of sensor advanced machine may have but uh, it is not available in many of the machines so then, then you have to judge physically your field operator and engineer has to check whether you are looking at uh, valves and you are uh, witnessing the air compressed air and the fuel coming out from that yeah so thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, you can ask uh, questions in comment section and uh, we will try to answer and we will try to select one or two person uh, for our detail uh, weekend classes okay thank you thank you for watching power plant guru